Matthew Broderick accepts legacy as Ferris Buller, reveals past career struggles. The 61-year-old starred in the 1986 comedy classic Ferris Buller's Day Off. Matthew Broderick has been an actor since his early teens, but it was his role in the 1986 John Hughes classic Ferris Buller's Day Off that made him a star. In a new interview with The Guardian, Broderick opened up on the impact it had on his career. I mean, yeah, I did have nice early success, but it's not easy to maintain that first flush, Broderick said. It's always a hard adjustment for child actors, young actors. People see the kid out of Leave It to Beaver grown up and they don't buy it. They want to see Little Beaver. Though the movie made him a star at 24, Broderick admitted it wasn't always an easy guarantee of continued success. People associated me with younger roles, but I wanted them to come with me and get used to the fact that I'm wrinkly. And it was hard, he said. The 90s were hard. Lots of ups and downs. But I always tried to keep at it, keep my high in it. Hopefully that keeps you in the game. The now 61-year-old actor went on to star in films like Godzilla, The Cable Guy, and Election, as well as voicing adult Simba in 1994's The Lion King. When asked what he views as his legacy after decades in the industry, Broderick had a simple answer. What's my legacy? Well, I'm Ferris Buller, I suppose. I have to accept it. And I like it. I've made my peace with it, he told the outlet. But he added he's not ready for people to start discussing my legacy. I have this Pollyanna streak that keeps me going. I always like to think there's something coming that's better, Broderick said. Broderick is starring in the upcoming Netflix series about the Sackler family and the Opide crisis, Painkiller, premiering on August 10. He also has plans to appear in a West End production of the Neil Simon play Plaza Suite, with wife Sarah Jessica Parker, which they also appeared in on Broadway last year. See I kick here, Tovid Tahayi Gyanadha. The entertainment